tube baits were built to have something put in them. Simple as that. Scent. Rattles, you know, we put rattles in them, you know, and uh, but the very last thing, you know, if you find a big old fish, not necessarily on the bed, but if this fish is a fish that you can visually see and you want to catch her, if this fish is going to make you the winner of that tournament, figure out how to catch her. If she won't leave, if that fish won't leave, I'm going to weigh that fish in in the tournament. It might take me 30 minutes to figure out the color that she responds to. It might take another 10 minutes to figure out what she wants in that thing that's going to trigger her to turn around and hit the bait the first time. If you take colors, you usually got about four colors. Two crawfish colors and two shad colors or minna colors. You take, go from that and you can put eyes on them. You know, get you some of this. You can buy it anywhere anymore. And it's a paint that you can actually paint soft plastic baits. And it dries immediately on there. Not, I'm not talking about the dye that you dye up their tails with. I'm talking about soft plastic baits. Put an eye on that tube bait. Pitch it back in there and biggest majority of the time that little bit of deal right there after you've already made a couple of casts you put eyes on that sub again put it in there and she'll turn around and bite at it or at least respond to it. If all else fails after you've done everything else you put rattles. We don't want no televeruses in here you need to leave. It's off limits to you get out of here. Who you got with you? Yeah. Bunch of troublemakers, that's all they are. It's, uh, yeah. It, uh, you, you, you tried your rattle, you tried your scent, everything else. But the last thing, if you can, if you can do it, and you do it quick enough, you pitch the bait in there and the fish turns around and looks at it the same every time. You know, they always say that there's a sweet pot, spot that that fish will eat that bait. Trust me, there, there might be a sweet spot, but usually that sweet spot was in the first four or five casts, you know, and after that it's kind of uh, just getting lucky to hit it. If you put you a little sliver of alka seltzer in there, you pick that bait that she responds to, she turns around and looks at it but won't eat it, put you a little sliver of alka seltzer in there and then throw it back in there and watch what happens. The next time that you see Guido, you will thank him for what I just told you. And it it doesn't not just work every now and then, it works every time. You just got to be ready for whatever she does bite. But whenever that water gets to that alka seltzer, the tube will always turn up. The water gets to it and them little bubbles come out of the... Oh yeah, yeah, you're going to weigh that. If you can land it, you're going to weigh that fish in.